Coogan Cassius IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. We're in Dublin here at Croke Park for the return of the Mac press conference. With me I've got Gary Spike O'Sullivan. Well that was an interesting press conference with uh, Euron Fitz, Anthony Fitzgerald. It's usually with Coogan, you know. I'm, I always like to keep things interesting. You know that. Uh, was uh, Pascal getting a bit, little bit too involved there? What do you think? Um, no, I think Fitz involved. Pascal said it's like him off and, you know, sure, with complete crap, so... I think, you know, I think it's Fitz's fault. Talk to me a little bit about the history between you and Anthony Fitzgerald. Well, um, yeah, I don't really consider there's a big history there myself, personally. It's more, more him, really, you know, he's been a bit jealous over the last few years. You know, I've been getting places he probably hasn't been, and, you know, I think he's been envious of that, and he's continuously been kind of trying to, I think he kind of tries to live off my name, almost. You know, he gets himself in the paper saying he wants to fight me, and then when the fight almost happens, it doesn't happen. Whatever happens, and... In between, I don't know, but uh, you know, personally, I've no grudge with him. You know, but uh, he's a stone in my road, and I'm gonna have to get him out of it. Mm. But a fight was offered to him. Yeah, I don't know the ins and outs of it. Yeah, I think he's been offered a few times the fight, but it never happened in the end. But it's gonna happen now, anyway, thankfully. So, sort it out now. The August 30th. Well, it's, it's definitely creating uh, an interesting rivalry ahead of August the 30th. So, yeah. um, it should be a, an interesting build-up, shall we say, Spike? An interesting build-up, yeah, and. Um, should be good for the fans, you know. It's just good to get the fans excited, you know. It's, it's great. It's going to be a good card, you know. It's a good card to over, I suppose, you know. Absolutely. Um, you're sparring with uh, Billy Joe Saunders. Paid off for Billy Joe Saunders yeah. on the weekend. I mean, yeah, he had a, a few uh, uh, tough rounds, but a few, you know, probably off rounds uh, in Billy Joe's uh, eyes. But he, he come through, got the got the knockout win, and got the European title. Exactly, you know, um, it was a tough fight for him. He managed 22 fights, 22 wins. Um, it was Billy Joe's first fight in 10 months, you know, so uh, I think he done very well. He pulled the knockout as well, getting laid on rounds, you know, showed that he could stand him and knocked him out with a cracking shot in the air round. And uh, yeah, I think the spare and done his both good. Absolutely. And what did you make of the antics uh, in the ring after he called out Billy? Um, Chris Eubank Jr. rather, and uh, I think they sort of clashed after the fight a little bit with their teams. Uh, what did you make of all that? Well, I just think Chrissy, Chrissy, you know, he's a um, he's a laughing stock, basically. You know, he, you know, I think he's just full of crap, like again, you know. He, uh, sure, he, I don't think he'd fight Billy Joe. I don't think he fight me. He, you know, even he's I, indicated that he would ever fight with you, yeah, according to his Twitter yeah, and so things says, like that. So he says, you know, it remains to be seen. I actually went around to Frank Warren's office and you know, asked him what, what it was about because I've been asking him for a fight for probably about the last year or thereabouts, and all of a sudden I signed up for a fight. You know, in Sky, and he he all of a sudden comes out and says he wants to fight me. Then why didn't he say that while I was looking for a fight for a full year off him? You know, I think it's just again, you know, crap out of him. You know, as usual, shit. Well, it'll be interesting. Like I said, he um, you know, I've just got by his Twitter account that you know he said that the people that allegedly in his eyes want to fight him, you know, he's going to start sort of fighting them and in his eyes, you know, putting them to bed if you like. So it's a guy you can, I don't know if you can take him really seriously, you know. At, in the same breath, he'd be calling out Steve Collins Jr., who's a cruiserweight, you know, uh, which is an impossible fight to happen. Like, you know, that doesn't make sense. And you just don't know. I think as he talks like a lot of bullshit, you know. Well, listen, if that's the fight that happens, obviously your yeah. date ahead is a, a great matchup against Anthony Fitzgerald on August the 30th at the National Stadium. So, you know, get yeah, that one out of the way first. The first and then, uh, but the lure of a big fight at the O2, Eddie said, you know, the winner of U2, that must be great yeah. incentive for you. Definitely, who knows what will happen after it, yeah. Well, I'll be there anyway in the O2, you'll see me in the O2 in November for sure. Um, who will fight that night, who knows? Um, we'll see. All right, well, listen, Gary, Spike O'Sullivan, thanks for talking to IFL TV again. And uh, pleasure. best of luck in your preparation leading up to the fair. I'm sure we'll catch up with you uh, nearer the time. Yeah, thanks, Kogan. All right. I know, I'd like to say it was a pleasure meeting you, but I don't tell you, so it's not really good to see you again. You were in my hometown the other day. <laughs> You treated me Did you really pay bad. your taxes? You know you've got to pay your taxes when you come into that, <laughs> that town, you know. You I paid my taxes. I paid oh, my you taxes. paid taxes? Yeah, I did. Cool, yeah. we're square, we're square. We're square, we're square. All right, nice one. All right, Thanks a lot, mate. See you, mate.